Welcome to Mordhau, a world of not just physical warfare, but psychological warfare as well. There's a lot to learn on these brutal battlefields, so in this video we're going to take a look at some of the more sneaky, cheeky and dirty tactics that you can use to catch out your opponents. But rest assured, these are all in the fair confines of the game. We're not going to be exploiting anything, taking advantage of bugs or glitches, or cheating in any way, shape or form, because that kind of thing is for losers. We're going to win by being smarter than our opponents. This video will mostly cover things the game doesn't tell you, and will leave out obvious things like fates, reposts, traps and fire pots. Ultimately, being any good at Mordhau requires you to develop a bunch of habits and then have the reflexes to use them. So, let's get into it. We'll begin with the target feint, as we'll call it, which is when we pretend we're not looking at someone and then we turn and smack them in the face when they go in to attack us. Allow me to demonstrate with some examples. So I've just clocked this guy. He is my target, he's the one I want to hit. But I'm not going to let him know. I'm going to make him think that I'm trying to attack his friends. I'm not looking at him directly, but I'm keeping him in my periphery. I keep my shoulders facing away from him to bait him in and make him think I haven't seen him. He thinks, oh sweet, a free hit, but as I see him approaching, I wind up an attack and throw it towards him at the last second, catching him mid-attack, getting myself a free hit. Another example, keep an eye on the guy in the armour here. I'm going to keep my attention on this archer as if he's the one I want to conk in the face, but this is all a ruse for my target feint, which is again going to cause this enemy to think that I was vulnerable so that he could get a free hit, but oh, how he was duped. And one more just to make sure we understand the concept. I've clocked this fella. He thinks I'm looking at his friend who is straight in front of me, but I'm aiming my attack at him, making him think that he doesn't need to defend, and then again I'm going to look at his friend, switch my target last second, and down he goes. The target feint is very powerful. If you see someone in your periphery, keep them in your periphery until you launch your attack. It's very easy to make people get careless when they think they can score a free hit. Next, a simple but effective classic, the ambush. This is where you lie in wait and launch an attack as someone runs around a corner, causing them to run straight into your pointy stick. Here's a few live examples, I'm running into the battle here, and then I spot a leg running behind this turned over wagon. I know where this path leads and I can see just about where he's going, so I'm going to launch a preemptive attack and ding this dodo in the bonds, affording me an early advantage in our brief conflict. On to another, you see this guy run behind these wooden planks here, I'm going to give chase, anticipate where he's going to come out, and score myself a cheeky free hit. Of course with certain weapons this could be particularly devastating, wiping people out in one hit if your aim is true. Next, one for the outnumbered, the target switch. When you're in a 2 on 1, 3 on 1, whatever, switching targets is a great way to get in some damage even if your inevitable doom may be on the horizon. Much like the target feint, it makes people think they've got a free hit because you're not looking at them, thus leaving them vulnerable. So some of this in action, I'm going to enter on the left here with a target feint on this guy, and then his overzealous friend is going to come in, who I'm narrowly going to avoid and then get a hit on, bam, then I'm going to switch back to the original target who thinks he can get a hit, bam, I'm going to switch back to the other target who thinks he can get a hit, bam, and then I'm going to finish off the same target just to break the rhythm a little bit and then switch back to the original guy who has figured out what I'm doing and finally blocks and scores a hit on me. But that's pretty much the gist of it. You keep switching targets and it very often makes people think that you're vulnerable for a second, causing them to try and sneak in and attack. This is almost an essential part of winning any kind of outnumbered engagement. It's constantly forcing that psychology that, oh, the enemy's back is turned, I can score a free hit. And if you are the one doing the outnumbering, you'd need to be careful not to fall into this trap. Your overeager desire to get kills may actually get you killed if you're not careful. If you want to play it a bit more safe though, you can always target switch and simply block one guy's attacks. So like here, I've got two angry axemen trying to come after me. I'm going to drop a feint, score a hit on one guy, turn and block the other guy's attack and then finish off the first guy, who again thought I was vulnerable, leaving himself wide open to get poked in the face. So, be sure to practice your target switching when faced with two or more opponents, although don't really be expecting to survive when you're faced with more than two. This may sound like a daunting thing to practice, but honestly it's easier than you might think. People are very excited when they get a chance to score a free hit and potentially a free kill, making them easy pickings. On to a chivalry classic, ducking quite simply performed by crouching and looking down, although it has to be pretty early in the swing or you will get hit. Of course, this only really works with horizontal or downward diagonal swings. This is usually easiest to perform on an enemy's first attack until you get used to it. 
This guy gonna try and take my head off with a downward diagonal swing, which is a little easier to avoid provided you move to the right side, allowing me to get an easy free hit on him. The beauty of ducking is that it doesn't cost you anything. You don't lose any stamina and you won't lose any position. We do a full speed one here over a similar attack, comes diagonally down, straight under it, retaliate with a strike of my own, and then we'll put this guy to bed. So this is one that definitely needs to become habitual and you need to just practice it until you do it without thinking about it when you see those horizontal strikes coming. And as I say, it's a great way to get a free hit because it doesn't cost you anything. The two important things about it is one, to put your head down, make sure you look down when you do it because otherwise your head will get taken off. And you need to duck pretty much as soon as the attack animation starts, otherwise you seem to be clipped by it, probably due to latency. And to one that is pretty well known, the thrown weapon finish. This is quite simply throwing your throwable weapon at the enemy to finish them off and take their life. This is more talking about the weapons that we have in our hands already, not switching to throwing axes or throwing knives, things that are meant to be thrown. We throw the unexpected. You probably don't really need any fancy examples of this, just wait till your enemy is covered in blood and then launch your weapon at their face, they'll probably fail to block it, as most do. It's also a great way to stop people stealing your kills. And while this is a more obvious one, I mention it because a lot of people don't actually seem to do it, let alone expect it. So if your main weapon can be thrown, don't be ashamed to use it to finish your opponent off. It's their fault for not blocking it, probably. But of course, be wary of the mistake of throwing your only weapon. Although sometimes it's worth it to shut people up. Now onto one that Sun Tzu would be proud of, Feign Retreat. It's like the Great Master said, appear weak and then fuck shit up. Or something like that. So with this one, we're gonna make it look like we're afraid and we don't wanna fight and we're gonna run away. I'm at a 3v1 here, so oh gosh, I'm so scared, I must run away. So I'm gonna run away, but then I'm quickly gonna turn around and launch an attack on someone who thinks he's got a free hit. And guess what, he's left himself vulnerable. Another example, I'm deep behind enemy lines here, get myself a little bit caught out, out of position. I'm low on health now, three on one. Of course, I'm gonna crap myself and run away, but oh no, I'm gonna turn around, drop an attack, take out one, injure another, his teammate's gonna finish him off. And then my friends are going to come and help me with the third guy. Although I narrowly survived with one health here. But again, much like the target feint, people see an opportunity, they see a back turned, they think that's a free hit, they charge in, they forget about defense, they get hit. The retreat is obviously more convincing if you're in a bad situation. On to a note about archers, particularly vulnerable archers. Nobody likes archers apart from other archers as they try to ruin our melee fun. They're often hidden behind their front line, completely oblivious to anything going on outside of their arch of view. This gives us a great opportunity to flank them and murder their face off. Here's an example. A bit of front line on Tiger, we're pushing for the last point, I'm moving up to get involved, but then I spot myself a tasty archer triple pack. This is too good of an opportunity. So with a bit of map knowledge under my belt, I flank around the side of this building, as well as this guy who's had the same idea, to ambush these dirty archers and to cut them down once and for all, or at least for about 20 seconds. But of course, archers can ill defend themselves against a fully geared melee soldier. So keep an eye out for groups of archers, they are very easily dealt with once you get a hold of them. You'll also be doing yourself a huge favor. And don't get me wrong, I'm only joking about archers. I do enjoy playing an archer myself from time to time, but as much as they are just an annoyance, they are also very dangerous for your team as they can keep up constant damage and constant pressure. So even managing to get a hit on them to knock their bow out of their hands is gonna take some of that damage pressure away just for a little bit. So keep an eye out for vulnerable archers that are paying no attention to you that can easily be flanked, go and decapitate them, and you'll be doing your whole team a favor. And for another more common but equally useful one, the old door kick. Even mid-combat, a door kick could be very useful for knocking over opponents, although it can work both ways like so. But if you're lucky, you'll be able to kick your enemy when they're down, which is of course a wonderfully cheeky tactic. It could also be advisable to stand to the side when kicking open a door so that if it does get kicked open on you, it won't actually hit you. Or you could use the door kick against your opponent. Let them kick the door open and greet them with a friendly stab to the face. Works a treat. Overall, doors have never been so fun. And for our last cheeky trick that any shivery veteran will know, environmental kills. This is basically just kicking people off of things, kicking them into spikes, kicking them into fire, sending them for a swim, all kinds of useful things out there in the environment for you to use to kill your enemies. So always be environmentally conscious, unlike this fellow.
So there you go, some of the more cheeky and advanced tactics of Mordhau. Learn to master these things and you can deceive, bully and embarrass your opponents to victory. So be sure to practice these things and make habits of them to make you a better Mordhau player. And this is my first Mordhau video, but there will be many more to come. So if you like what you see, keep your scouts on the lookout for me. I aim to help people in the community get better so everyone can enjoy the game more. I hope you've enjoyed this, thanks for watching. I will see you in the future. Bring a loot, he can bring a fucking 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 f